Hi and welcome to Eggy Fits. In this video I'll be showing you how to fit tiles on the 45. So these tiles are Antico and they're laid with no lacing but they're on the 45 degrees so they're not square up to the sides. Now they're tessellated which means that the grain is running one way and the tile next to it is running the opposite way so it gives sort of a checkerboard effect now here I will demonstrate how to mark and cut the 45 where it's going right up to the wall so you can't get it in there so look it's touching the wall so what you want to do is slide it right along so it touches the wall and when it touches the wall you mark it diagonally away and you mark it with a pencil and then you do the same on the other side you slide it up but the problem is this tile was facing the wrong way as you can see the one underneath it is the same way so I've totally done it the wrong way around because you obviously want to tessellate it so it's the opposite way but here I go so I've got to fix my mistake and like I said mark the opposite side slide it up so it touches and then you mark the opposite and then you want to join these two lines together Cut your fingers off. Always make sure you cut the backing out and rub off your pencil lines. Fits in like a glove. Now that big triangle that you gotta make, you offer it up, spin it around so it's the opposite way you want it, and then mark the difference on each corner. You don't need to slide it up or anything like that. You just mark both sides so when it cuts out. It should fit nicely. Now if your walls are wobbly, then you can see that it drops out in the middle or whatever. Have a look and see if you can cut it slightly bigger. And then as you slide it in, you can then remark it with your pencil and take, start taking little bits off to make it fit. But this tile wasn't too bad. It was pretty straight. Now this stuff is quite brittle and it can shatter when it's cold. So you want to do a couple scores and I even did a third score there to get through it, bend it and then cut it through the back. Always take the backing off but watch your fingers because you slide off this tile, the tile actually does have a quite a sharp edge to it. So there you go, like a glove. Okay, now I'll be showing you how to cut something difficult rather than nice straight walls. I'll show you how to fit around a door frame on the 45, which is very difficult. Now, as you can see, I'm marking it so I can get that sort of angle. I'm using another piece, which has already got a cut to mark the difference. Now. As you can see, I'm marking where it touches and the difference at the top. 
so I can remark that difference to the tile and where it touches so I can get that angle on the first bit. So it gives me sort of my starting point on that tile. Now I want another angle, the same piece, apologies for the camera angle. see it but it is going right up the door frame and I'm marking on the tile where that angle is and then repeating where the angle is over the top and there is a slight difference and I've kind of memorized what that was and mark it so now I've got just two angles. Now I need to figure out where the frame is, the bits where it goes underneath. Sort of the architrave basically. So I'm marking some points. The more points is sort of like a dot to dot. Kind of gives you more an idea. The more points, the more bits you can have, the less chance you're going to cut it short. If you totally guess, you'll be all over the place. to what I just said I did kind of guess it a little bit if you do mess it up you can always use the piece you messed up as a template mark on it where you've gone wrong and then you've got that as a template for your next piece these videos but it always looks like I'm gonna cut myself <laughs> it's close it just looks like it needs a bit of a shave off you mark where it needs pieces cutting off. It's better to be too big than short, obviously. Just needs a little bit more off again. Say apologies for the camera angle. There's just just a little bit on the door stop there. So 
So after this one goes in, we're going to be moving on to how do we cut a pipe in the middle of a 45 degree. You know, we've got a pipe right in the middle of the tile. How do you mark that? It's, you know, you can't use a tape measure. It's very hard. I'll show you. After I've taken a little bit more off, and there she blows. Just wipe off the pencil marks, or if you've got an eraser on the any a pencil, use that. Okay, now on to this pipe. So this pipe is, is almost in the middle of that tile. I've already cut the tile, cut the angles the same way I have the rest of it on the angle. Now what you do is a similar way of sliding it up and you just keep it nice and straight on the edge and you mark the front and the back of the pipe and you do the same on the other side so the front and the back of the pipe Then you use a nice straight right angle of the tile to line up with those pencil marks and you mark in the middle where you think the pipe's going to be. So there's your front and your back. And then the same on the other side. And where they meet, they're going to create a box. So now the box is there, you want to mark the angles because I'm going to be using a drill with a paddle which is 16mm, the same thickness of the uh, pipe. So that marking the angle gives you the centre point. So you use a 16mm paddle and you want to drill it out. Put the drill in the middle, don't drill your thumb. And don't drill into your leg either. So you want to use your knife to cut all the backing off and it'll be quite soft as well because the drill will warm it up it speeding around so fast. So there you go, just get rid of all the burr. Get rid of your uh, pencil lines. there's the hole so now you you've got to get it around the pipe now you've got a radiator on you can't take the radiator off and have a pipe hanging out to slide it over the top so you have to cut it so you want to cut it so it's behind the radiator pipe and that's how you fit 45s with a pipe and if you want to see more videos like this hit the egg on the screen now